good day today. Yes, sir. Good, good morning, Mr. Hogan. Yes, sir. All right. Y'all have a wonderful day. What is Robert's response? He, yeah, he's basically saying like, you know, she's not, she would never take me seriously. There's no risk of her taking me seriously. And he says, there is no earthly possibility of Mrs. Pontelier ever taking me seriously. You should have warned me against taking myself seriously. Hi, my name is Sydney Carvula and I teach high school English at Sacred Heart High School. Um, this is my first year teaching and my first year at Sacred Heart. So it's very exciting. I'm learning so much every day, especially for my students. And I think my favorite thing about being here at Sacred Heart is the community that it provides not only for me and the other teachers, but for the students, the families. It's a very tight-knit community and I'm very thankful to be a part of it. I'm Lonnie Schrader. Uh, I teach uh uh, PE and health. I've been here for 11 years. I coach, uh, I, well, I coach football for seven of those years. Now I'm a uh, powerlifting coach, assistant volleyball, and now assistant girls basketball. Everybody's just been so good to me here. It's been a blessing to be here. The kids are great. It's just a great place to be. Sacred Heart for nine years now. This particular year I teach Algebra 3, Advanced Math Plus, AP Calculus, and Physics. What I like most about Sacred Heart is the students. I have never been anywhere except here where students have a desire to learn and they just make life more pleasant. I actually goes back to the, to the Senate. Let's say they make some change, okay? They make some changes, what has to, what has to happen? Back to the house, okay? They can't agree on the same, same version of the bill, and they send it back and forth two or three times. What would be the next step is one of our committees, conference, conference committee. So they would set up a conference committee with members of the Senate and the House to get together and hammer out the same version of the bill. Then it would go to whose desk? The President of the United States. My name is Wayne Pittman. I'm a teach uh, history here, government. I've been here three years. I've taught eighth grade U.S. history, senior economics, senior governments, and AP government. And what I like most about Sacred Heart is the students. And I work real hard at trying to establish relationships with all my students. And I've really enjoyed all three years here. You know, I've had different students each year, getting to know the students. And that's what makes this place special to me is the students that are here. They're here because they want to be here. Or they want to learn. And that makes a difference in the classroom. When you have students that want to be in the classroom and want to learn, and that makes it fun to be a teacher. So that's kind of the, what I enjoy the most here at Sacred Heart is the students. Hi, I'm Garlanda Walls. I teach social studies at Sacred Heart High School. And I, this is my 16th year, and I love it here. Smart kids, wonderful teachers, positive environment. This is just the best place in town to teach kids in the high schools. We're very lucky. My name is Andrea Blissett. I have taught here since 2005, so for forever. I teach history and college and career readiness. My favorite thing about Sacred Heart is our family-like atmosphere. I enjoy that we have smaller class sizes and I get to teach students multiple years, so I really get to know them. Lord God, we thank you first of all for all that you've done for us, all that you're doing for us, and all you will do. God, thank you for your love and your mercy. And thank you that you love our loved ones even more than we could ever imagine to love them. Father, we pray today for um, those in need of healing, 
um, health restored or surgery. And Lord, we give you praise, glory, honor, blessings. Do your name and we make our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm Leslin Tamberg and I'm teaching 11th and 12th grade religious studies. I've been at Sacred Heart since 2011. I retired from public school and came over here and then I retired from here last year and they asked me to come back and finish out this year and of course I said yes I would not say no to Miss Charles or to the opportunity to come back to Sacred Heart. I love the atmosphere. I love the kids. And of course, I love my subject. I love that we have the opportunity to pray, to pray for one another, to pray for the needs of our families, that we can start every class period with praying for each other's needs. I like the freedom to question and the curiosity that the kids have about religious studies. The 12th grade does world religions, and it's really interesting to see how the, the students can kind of compare the similarities between the religions and Christianity and also the different but learn how to be tolerant, not necessarily believing, but tolerant of other people's beliefs. Unfortunately, I'm going to re-retire at the end of the year, but you never know. largest part of the heart that we're going to talk about. So as the blood flow comes through the heart, it goes back out the heart so that you get that oxygen that you need to make sure that it reaches all of the muscles in your body. I'm Anna Thornton. I teach ninth grade biology and 11th twelfth grade human anatomy. I've been at Sacred Heart and this is my third year. One of my favorite things about Sacred Heart is that I get to teach from the heart, at the heart, but I also get to really get to know my students and my children go here. So there's just a lot of things that I really enjoy about Sacred Heart.